this is called a mixed media effect, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. So, so first things first, get your clean slate. The clean slate is just an empty frame of wherever you're gonna be shooting. Make sure it's static, locked off on a tripod. Then film the thing you're gonna do in the frame, like I just did. I drove the car in and got out and said that thing. Film that, and then uh, then bring it in your editing software. Now this works in any editing software. I'm using Premiere Pro, but it doesn't really matter what you use. In your software itself, drag your footage in, which I did over here. I colored mine. If you have to color grade, color it first. After that, find where you have your blank slate, just in case you need backup. You can always throw this on top of there. Cut on that part where I want to start the effect, and then you know pan through. And I wanted to end here, so I'm gonna make sure I cut everything. That's my segment that I want to work with. Now go to the beginning of it. Every two frames, make a cut. Every two frames, make a cut. I keep doing this. Now, obviously I have a lot of frames here that I've cut. There's a lot of segments. You might not want to have your effect last as long as I want to, so you don't have to cut that many times. Just cut however long you want your effect to last. Now that you did that in your software, choose that first frame. Make sure you're at the beginning of that two frame clip here. Press the little export frame if you don't have this in Premiere. Press the button editor and then find it in here. Click and drag, you can click anything, you can drag it into place if you want. Now on this frame, click the photo icon, name it. I'm just gonna name it in the sequence one. And then I'm gonna find out what path it's going to. For me, I already put it in the folder I want in the path for this project. You wanna make sure you go ahead and head and do that. That way you know where it's gonna be. Press okay, and then go to the next one, jump to the next cut. Do the same thing, I'm gonna name this two. It's going to the same folder. And I'm gonna keep repeating this process as well. It, it's a little tedious. As you can see, I have them all in a folder, one through 34, meaning I have to edit 34 photos for this effect. You might not wanna do it as long as I did it for, but it's a little tedious. Nonetheless, I have my work cut out for me. Now I put together a pack of digital textures like paper and, and stuff like that that you can download in the description from the link if you'd like to. You can also donate when you go to download if you want to, but otherwise they are completely free. There'll be this paper textures folder. Uh, some of them are not paper, but I labeled it that way anyways. Grab the one you want. For me, I want this. Perfect, look at that, it's paper. Enter, you know, rescale it to the frame size if you want to. Do what you wanna do. They're all 16 by nine. And then go ahead and cut out your subject, put it on top of the paper. You know, this will only be for one frame, so it won't last that long. So even though, yes, it's covering the frame, not every frame will have this. You can also do different things. So when you get the car into there more, right, if I wanted to, and maybe I do want to, turn off the background lock, make a new layer, zoom in on the car or whatever subject you have, find a brush you like. In my case, I'm gonna go with like a charcoal pencil or whatever, and I'm going to paint the edge of my car, not in, not in blue, but in, uh, Maybe we'll go on my, my brand's color yellow. I wanna paint the car. Now I traced out the car here, you know, and if I did this every few frames on that, then of course, you know, the scribble effect would kind of move, it would be different. So when you combine all these effects, you had cutouts and you scribble on it, export the file, command S, save the copy, then go back to your editing software, find the one you labeled. So obviously I told you ahead of time, number them. So that way you know, okay, on the 10th cut here, that's number 10. Go ahead, drag in number 10, into there for instance. Now let's drag this on top of it. That there is a little scribble effect. And when you do it throughout the rest of them, this is what you get out of at least what I chose to do with my mixed media effect. You can do whatever you wanna do, but this is what I did. So that's it, that's the entirety of the video. Yes, it's a little bit time consuming, but it's, it's pretty simple. Now normally I don't do this, but if you guys want to, and you made it to the end of the video, that must mean you liked this video. You'll probably like more, so check those out if you'd like to. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Thanks for sitting here with me, giving me your time. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great Friday. Peace out. You know how complicated this video was for me to film? I don't know why, but it was, it's was. it been a rough morning. It's like two, so it's not a morning, but you get the point. Okay.